guys, it's your girl London, and today I'm bringing you an Ulta Beauty haul. So these are some of the products I've gotten from Ulta Beauty so far this month, and I say so far because they have really been kind of reeling me in with all the rewards deals that they have. They have like five times the rewards on perfume, five times the rewards on Clinique, five times the rewards on anything, and it's kind of like reeling me in, reeling me in because the reward system is just so good at Ulta. So the first thing I got was eyeshadow palette and this is the Smashbox Cover Shot Sunlit Yellow Palette and when I saw this I was like holy mackerel and I have seen this before but again the five times points rewards got me and I was just like I have to have it I love this color layout um, I know some people don't like the Cover Shot eyeshadow palettes I have I believe two of them I have the Ablaze and I have another one but like I said the color layout got me and I just had to have it so I cannot wait to play around with that one I also got another one here we go I really love these covers how they just kind of reflect in and out and said back back um, but this is the Cover Shot Pinks and Palms eye palette now I love a good mint and I love some pinks but what really really drew me to this is the cover because it was pinks and palms and I'm from Southern California. I love palm trees. Oh, it just reminded me of home so I had to go ahead and I had to get that one too. Color layouts get me, covers get me, but I'm really excited to use those even though we're going into fall I'll rock spring eyeshadows all year long. I'll rock fall eyeshadows all year long. I don't really do seasonal per se. I just rock what I like when I like it. The next thing I got was the Maybelline uh, New York Lemonade Craze Palette. Now, this was really big a couple months ago, um, and I was excited to go ahead and get this because I wanted to give it a shot. Let me go ahead and open it. And this is the layout. This is what this looks like. So it has a really good color layout. I mean, it kind of is a little sucky because if you take away the yellow, it really is just kind of like a neutral and pink palette. But nonetheless, I think that this is going to be fun to play with. It's going to be pretty to play with. Um, I have seen some reviews and it doesn't seem like it's ultra pigmented. But at the same time, that can be really good, especially when I'm like going to work and I'm like, oh shoot, I only got 10 minutes. I just want to put on some eyeshadow that's easy to blend, that's not going to like hit me with a 10 as soon as I put it on. You know, I want something that's buildable because I want to be quick with it and I just want to give myself a wash of color. Um, but I don't want to have to sit there and kind of blend out for, you know, five or 10 minutes. So I am excited to go ahead and use this and see what I can do with it. Um, so yeah, the next one I got was the Maybelline New York Soda Pop Palette. So this one is a little bit newer. I think this came out maybe like a month or so ago. But the other one was the Lemonade Palettes, of course, Lemonade. And this one was Soda Pop, and it clearly looks like they did like a grape Soda Pop palette because um, there's a lot of like purple tones in here. I really, really love purple tones. I especially love like these kind of jeweled purple tones together where it almost looks like kind of like lilac y, kind of like deep purplish together. Kind of like what I have on my eyes today. So I really love these tones together. And I'm trying to give drugstore palettes more of a chance, like the Maybellines, the Cover Girls, and things like that. Um, because they really seem to have been stepping up their game a little bit. So I want to give them more of a chance and see, you know, have they kind of changed formulations? Do they work better? Do they blend better? You know, is the pigmentation better? Do they stay better? So I wanted to try out some more drugstore palettes um, and give them a little bit more of a chance. The next thing I got was the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. So this is what this looks like. Now I have seen Juvia's Place since they were kind of just a quote unquote uh, more of a social media brand. They were really big on Instagram and now they're in Ulta. So I said you know what they're there. This palette was 20 bucks. I really wanted to give it a shot. Look at this palette. Tell me that's not a gorgeous layout. Not only is it a gorgeous layout, they're huge, huge pants. Like, it never in life would I be able to use these up. And these are super, super pigmented. I've seen so many reviews on Juvia's Place. And as far as being, you know, brown girl friendly, saturation, pigmentation, wear, the, this seems to be kind of like the standard um, to go to. And just that price, I mean, $20 for these, it looks absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I just, I cannot wait to play around in these and do some looks with it because, yeah, I'm amped about it. The next thing I got was the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. I got this because this is my number one holy grail eyeshadow primer and I actually have one here that is slowly but surely it's on its last leg but I absolutely absolutely love it. Um, it literally is just a doe foot applicator eyeshadow primer. It's clear, like it looks like a milky white kind of clear, um, but you put it on your eyes, you go ahead, you let it dry, and it literally does, I know I said literally a lot, I know. Um, it sets your eyeshadow so it is waterproof. Like when I go to take off my makeup at the end of the night, I can feel um, whatever cleanser I'm using going over my eyes and it feels like you're going over something waterproof. Like it 
almost feels like um tacky like plastic sort of like you're picking away off of it and i usually have to wash my eyes two or three times to get the eyeshadow completely off and all the residue because it really really does waterproof it and that's what i really like because that means that if i get water on my eyes clearly it's going to hold up to it and if i get sweat especially because you know we're going from right now to the summer into the fall um so it really really did work over the summer and this like i said is my holy grail number one i use this all the time i used to be really into the smashbox 24 hour primer but they were always out of it at ulta and that's when i just picked up the nyx and ever since i picked that up it has been my holy grail and i probably have been using that oh my gosh maybe like a year but on its own nothing else probably like eight months i do try to use sometimes concealer um you know depending upon the shadows but i've noticed the concealer really creases on me but the nyx proof it it never fails me it's always like if shadows don't work with the nyx proof it i just know this is shadow it's not anything else it is just the shadow the shadow is just no good so i really really love that the next thing i got was the uh, patrick star and matte collaboration hot and heavy face powder aka highlighter that's what i have on today i mean come on now come on this is my favorite you guys know i've shown this so many times now in videos um this one is brand spanking new i'm so excited about it. the actually the plastic thing just fell out on my lap i'm so excited to have this one why you say it's not because i don't have one because i do i have it right here if you guys watch my other video you know that this fell out of my purse and it totally and completely freaking shattered i mean let me try to show you guys that shattered so i had to buy myself a new one because this is not even repressible like I, I i would have to mince it all into powder to repress it because it shattered so badly so i had to get another one i was like oh, man shoot and i would never do that with a highlighter because one i don't go through highlighters like that two i'm like eh, there's always other highlighters out there but no the patrick star and mac hot and heavy i cannot be without it that is my jam that is my go-to it's just it's such a nice highlight like it's natural enough but it's like blinding enough bam bam tom's hollered on you bam bam so yeah so i i just i had to get myself another one the last thing i got which i was really excited about is the makeup revolution the emily edit the wants palette so i'm really excited about this because this was created by makeup revolution and the youtuber emily noel so i really know i think it's actually like emily noel like 81 but emily noel i absolutely love her i've been watching her for years like literally since she was still a news anchor so i really really love her i love to see she's come so far she's such a sweet and genuine person um and so i was really excited to go ahead and support her with this palette i needed another palette like a hole in the head but one i've never tried makeup revolution and i've heard kind of like mixed things about them two i really wanted to support her and i think that you can support people in many ways by congratulating them by getting the word out um, about their product or things that they're kind of into but fortunately i had been blessed enough to be able to support her monetarily by purchasing this palette um it was twenty dollars so that was a blessing within itself because you know i am able to go ahead and support her in that way also so i went ahead and i did purchase it these are all the colors it's an absolutely absolutely gorgeous layout this is what i have on my eyes today so this is the palette and then this if you guys can see this is what i have on my eyes today i'm really 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 excited about it today i was able to use midwest um bell violet which is bell is one of her da uh, daughters i was able to use uh pie fi or pie pie um, it's P-I-P-H-I and then the color family. So I did like a purple hue uh, and then kind of Midwest is kind of like a mid-tone brown. So the only problem I had, the matte so far, again, this was just me playing today. This wasn't, you know, this is the first time. So I really can't do like an overview or a good review on it yet. But the matte so far seemed to be fine. It seems to be something you have to build up, which again, I prefer to have to build up my shadows um, than to just have it like punch me in the face all at once. But Belle Violet was a shimmer. Belle Violet is this color right here. It's this beautiful, beautiful kind of like periwinkle purple. And that's what I have all over my lid you guys can see again that i had difficulty with now emily says like a brush mm, maybe not be the best thing for that but i tried it anyway and i, I patted it on it wasn't so great i did try it with my finger and that also wasn't so great so what i had to do was take the back of one of my eyeshadow brushes and kind of like scrape it out a little bit so it became powdery and then i put my finger in it and then i went ahead and i put it on my eyes so i noticed that it just really didn't pick up on my fingers and it really didn't pick up on my brush i had to scrape a little bit of it off to kind of like get a little bit of powder and then so I put it on my eyes now once I put it on my eyes I think it looks absolutely beautiful 
but you know that is something that I, I, I found with that you know upon first use but so far you know it seems so good um, I don't know if it was just that particular color because um, that kind of like periwinkle purple can be a difficult color whether it's in metallic or shimmer or matte it can be a little bit difficult to work with so the more I play with it um, the more I'll kind of get a feel for it and I will come and I'll do some looks with it and I'll do a review and things like that but so far so good and I'm so happy for Emily and she just she really deserves it if anybody deserves all that goodness in her life um, it's Emily because she's truly she's just so authentic she's such a sweet person I really like her I love seeing her life you know change and her family grow and so I was really proud of her for that so I'm glad I was able to support her in multiple ways um, with that now with that purchase Makeup Revolution was also giving um, a free palette so I believe it was purchases over $15 or over $20. So what this one is, is the Makeup Revolution Fierce as Fire palette. And like I said, this one was free. So this came free with the um, Emily palette. So I'm excited to go ahead and give this a try. This does have a ton of shimmers in it. So I'm hoping that these shimmers perform a little differently um, than this Periwinkle one in the Emily palette. So I'm excited to give this a try. I'm excited to keep playing with the Emily palette. I'm excited to play with all the palettes that I got because you guys, I got a ton of palettes. I've become obsessed with them. I need more palettes. Like I need a hole in my head. I do not need any more, but it's just, it's just, it's tough. It's a Roughkins. Um, oh, you know, I did get one more thing. It's sitting right here. I got the Maybelline uh, Lasting Drama by iStudio, and this is just a 24-hour a smudge-proof, waterproof, intense color in the blackest black. This is an eyeliner, so I wanted to get this because although I use the Stila liquid eyeliner, I wanted to try a gel liner, and I wanted to try a gel liner that was going to make it easier for me to create kind of like a cat eye and it was going to be you know long wear waterproof smudge proof because i do tend to have i guess really like i guess watery top of my eyelids because everything seems to kind of smudge in there and because i have hooded eyes it makes it very difficult for me to go ahead and do like a cat eye especially with like the felt tip pens because right here in the corners it really really creases on me and the cat eye starts looking wonky so i wanted to go ahead and give that a try and see if you know that would help me if that would work out so if you guys have used that let me know how you like it let me know if it helped you make your cat eye better let me know if it was worth the you know to pay for it or whatnot what have you um let me know if you guys have tried any of these eyeshadow palettes or anything that i got today let me know how you liked it let me know the best way to use it especially if you tried the emily palette what's the best way to use it um link some of your guys creations and looks because i would love to go and look at some of your guys's videos or instagram pictures and kind of see the looks that you guys have done with it to just like give me some inspiration um let me know if you guys have gotten the patrick star and mac hot and heavy highlight you guys you should it's so fantastic um yeah, just let me know what you guys think about those. If you guys have used them, let me know, um, you know, how you guys fared with them, best way to use them, and some looks. So I'm going to go ahead and go. I literally have nothing to do. I'm going downstairs with my husband, and we are going to watch all of our shows that we compiled this week. And the first one we're going to watch is Snowfall. So if you guys have not been watching Snowfall, you should. It is a fantastic show. Season one's a little rocky. And it takes a little time to pick up, but we're on season two now, and it is really, really good. So we really like it. It's getting really to oh, the meat and potatoes point. Um, so really excited to continue watching that. And then we're also going to watch Ink Master um, because one of our friends is on Ink Master, Chris Shockley. Yay, Chris, so proud of you. So he is on Ink Master. So we're very excited to continue watching his journey um, on Ink Master and see where it goes so guys thank you so much for spending your time with me i always 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 appreciate you guys spending time with me um if you guys have any kind of videos you want me to do leave them in the comment section down below and let me know what you want to see um whether they're looks or whether there's certain types of videos or certain products maybe you want me to use in the video uh, maybe you've seen me purchase products but i haven't used them yet let me know so i know to kind of push those forward because i want to make content that i want to see and content that i want to do but i also want to make content that you guys are kind of requesting and that you guys want to see and want to see me do too so please leave that down in the comment section below also and until next time guys i love you i miss you if you enjoyed this video please give me two very enthusiastic thumbs up you know what to do with that and if you have not already please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified of all my new and upcoming videos you do not miss a single one all right guys it's time for tv so i will see you later but i will miss you until then so i love you guys bye